it going everybody? Welcome back, welcome back. Um, I thought we'd do something a little bit different today rather than just jump straight into gameplay. I'm actually not going to be playing today. Instead, I'm going to be going through the characters and, you know, your team and basically seeing like what kind of upgrades we can get, coming up with a battle strategy and going for it, you know, going forward from there. I thought I'd make this into a video because I thought it'd be worth to discuss because, you know, this game's new to all of us so it'd be great to maybe, like, go through it, you know, leave a comment thinking what you agree or what you disagree with, what your battle strategies are, and let's go from there. The music's a bit intense, considering it's just Quidditch. Ooh. Very nice. Very nice. Right, my team. So let's go through this, right? So unlike normal Quidditch, you have six players instead of seven because you've only got the one beater. I can understand why they've done that. It's just a bit different, but, you know, you can understand why they've done it. But we're going to start with our keeper. Right, so let's think about it. Right, so everyone seems to have... Everyone's got three different skill types, I guess you could call them. You've got defense, teamwork, and attacking. And obviously, depending on the position, this will affect, you know, what specialities people can gain, what skills they can gain. So starting with the keeper, right, I personally think defense is quite important because obviously your keeper needs to be saving the goals. So you want him to, you know, have quite a good defense. I think that makes sense. But let's go through it. So we've got this one so far. So quaffle catch radius increased by 5%, which is great. So now he's got a 5% more bubble, you know, or... Yeah, he's got a 5% bubble that is basically, you know, like helping him catch the ball, which is great. Number two, Soz. Reverse maneuver speed. Reverse speed while driving or recentering increased by 35%. Again, that'd be, that could be quite useful because, you know, you want to get everywhere. But to me, I don't feel like that's the biggest perk in the world. I'd maybe rather something else there, but I can understand where that's good. You know, you can get back into your position ready to save the ball. The quaffle. Catch and steal radius. So it's increased by another 5%. That's great. All for that. Fantastic. Deflecting a bludger with a fully charged kick launches it back at the beater. Wow. Okay, that's quite good. I'm a big fan of that one. That one sounds quite good. Because um, now you have now two players that could effectively take out one of their players, which is very, very good. I think that'd be quite, that'd be a good one to work towards. Another 5%, that's great. Can you use boost to sh I don't know what that means. Attack repeatedly with bombs and or machine gun flyer. An attack from a low aircraft. Well, that's interesting. Fair enough. It must be good if it's the last one. <laughs> teamwork, right, again, teamwork's very important because obviously we're working as a team. And already I've got one of these, so that's great. So I'm assuming all of these, yeah. So those middle ones just seem to be like upgrades, which is great. So, hey, caller, cool down by one. Yeah, I think that makes sense. So you're just basically getting quicker reactions, which is good. I'm all for that. I think that's clever. Kick receiver speed. Kicking the quaffle to a teammate gives him a 15% speed boost. Wow. Okay, that'd be that'd be good. So the keeper kicks it to him. Now they've got, you know, 15% speed boost for three seconds. That's quite good. I think that's quite clever. That's a good one. Because, you know, now if you're kicking the quaffle to them... You know, you're essentially getting that 3% closer to the other hoops, so that'd be quite good. Play caller draw duration increased by two seconds. Okay, so you've got two... I'm interpreting that as you've got two extra seconds, which is quite good. Cool. And then play caller rings now slow enemy players. Oh, I see. The rings are the blue things. Right. Got it, got it, got it. Oh, okay, so these rings will last longer. Got it. Got it. Fine. And if an enemy person, if an enemy player goes through them, they are reduced by twenty percent. Wow. Now that is good. Okay, I'll give them that. I didn't understand it at first, but that's good. That's very, very good. I haven't got any attacking yet. Kick damage. You know what? Yeah, that kick damage could be really, really good. You know, just taking the health out. That's really, really good. 
power kick. Quaffle deflections with fully charged kicks stun and damage enemies. Quaffle is uncatchable by enemies for four seconds. Wow. Okay, that's very, very good. I'm, I, I'm pro that. It's funny because you don't usually assume that the keeper is going to be attacking. So it's quite good that now you've got like six ways that the keeper can be, you know, inputting on the field more than just by saving the quaffle. So that's quite good. Kick lunge. You now lunge forward a short distance when kicking. So I'm assuming essentially that just means the quaffle gets a look, you know, more forward. So that's quite good. Free flight unlocked. Can use boost to fly forward using free flight. Fair enough. I'll be honest, I don't fully understand it, but I feel like the more you play the game, the more you'll be like, I need free flight. Fair enough. Alrighty, well there you go. So that's the keeper. I think... Oh. I think defence and teamwork is where I'm going to be focusing, but that attack... I'm thinking I'm going to go 2-2-1. Two, 2-2-1. Two, one. Two, two, one. So if that makes sense. So once these both have their first two, then I'll get one of their. Then when these ones are on the fourth one, then I'll get the second one on attacking. And I think that's probably the way I'm going to work the keeper. So yeah. Right, chasers, let's go. I've actually been enjoying playing as the chaser. I didn't think I would, um, but I'm actually really enjoying this, the playing as the chaser. It's quite fun, and like you know, you have the main control of the game really as the chaser. That's who you're playing as the most, so it's quite cool. Right, quaffle carry speed. Speed penalty while carrying the quaffle reduced by 15. So you obviously then slow down when you've got the quaffle, which makes sense because now you're carrying, you know, the quaffle and all of that kind of stuff. But then obviously now this is just reducing and reducing. So that, I think, is quite good because essentially you're just going to be getting quicker. So that's quite clever. I like that. Charge throw. Holding down. Well, I don't know what that would be on the control. I have to look that up. Charges your throw, allowing you to throw the quaffle faster. I have noticed that when you throw it, the, you know, there's a bit of a delay, so that obviously is going to affect that. That's great. Throw the quaffle 25% faster, same thing. Again, probably going to have to learn what this is on the control, but that's fine. Without the quaffle, charges a kick shot, which launches the quaffle in the direction you're aiming when you receive it. Ah, so you're going to call for it, and you're going to press this button, and you're going to boosh. That'd be good at scoring goals. That'd be very, very good. I'm all for that. Teamwork. Now I can imagine teamwork for the chasers is quite important because, like I said, you know they're, the, you know, they essentially take up half the team because there's three of them, and they need to be in sync with each other and they need to kind of be in sync with everything else going on. So I think this is quite important. Pass lock on distance increased by ten meters. This is great because I feel like at the moment, like you know, you lock onto a person and then they're like gone, and it's just like, oh, but I can still see you, but why can't I pass you the ball, the quaffle? So I keep calling it a ball, and I apologise. Um, so then obviously this is just going to get bigger and bigger. So essentially you're going to get an increase of 30 meters by the end of it, which is, that's quite insane. That's quite a lot. Drafting unlocked. Flying behind teammates builds speed, increasing up to 20% boost over three seconds. Wow, so now you fly behind your teammate and you just essentially get quicker. That's insane. I like that one. I like it. Successfully passing the quaffle to a teamate gives the receiver Oh wow, teamwork's the way to go for the chaser because you're you're essentially just like boosting yourself. Do you know what I mean? You're just getting the quaffle closer to the other end. I yeah, I think teamwork's definitely up there. So only passing the quaffle gives you 30% speed. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Teamwork. Teamwork's very debatable. <laughs> Tackle damage. Yep. That's fine. That makes sense. See, I feel like I feel like tackling is less important for the chasers, but then equally as important at the same time. It's quite strange, but yeah, I think teamwork is just a bit more important there. Okay, fine, fine, fine. So just more damage space. Oh, okay, that is good. That is very good. So now you're essentially like ruining that player's chances of catching you back up once you've tackled them. So that's very good. Oh uh, yeah, that's quite cool. Stealing the quaffle from an enemy gives two people. Okay, good. Yeah, that makes sense. I can see why that would be really useful, but again, I don't think I'm going to go for the blue one so quickly. I don't think I'm going to go for tackling that quick. Teamwork, definitely. Going to build that up pretty quick. I think I'm going to go teamwork, maybe then tackling, and then quaffle handling. So I might go for every two here, I do one and one. Two, one and one. Two, and then just build these guys up slowly. I think that's the way to go for the chaser. Obviously, all three chasers are just going to be the same, so I'm not going to go through each individual person. Um, but onto the beta, onto the beta. Let's let's see what the beta can do. Now it's quite weird. I don't tend to play as the beta. I'd like to, you know, as I progress in the game, I'd like to think that I'm going to probably 
get better at playing the beta. So to me, my kind of mindset is while I'm not playing the beta, and this is the same kind of mindset I've got for the keeper, while I'm not playing as them, I feel like they're the ones that should be getting the skill points a lot quicker than the chasers and the seeker who I am playing as, because they also almost need to like handle themselves on their own. And I feel like by giving them like better skills, they can handle themselves better on their own, especially you know considering our level's gonna go up and hopefully we're gonna be playing online soon. So that'd be great. So that's kind of my understanding. But obviously when you're playing online, you choose, I think it's different. So this doesn't fully matter, but that's kind of my mindset for that. Ow. So, bludger handling, yep, 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 yep. So that's, that's very good. Obviously, that's kind of what you want because that's literally essentially their job. You're dealing that extra bit of damage and it's eventually gonna be dealing three extra damage. That's quite, that's quite good. Summoning a bludger replenishes boost energy. Okay, so that to me I interpret as I'm summoning a bludger and now suddenly I've got 30% more boost energy than I did before. Which is quite, that's quite something. He's looking very intensely. My guy? Hope you're okay. Right, um, rapid fire. Bludger summon cool damage reduced by two seconds. Great, cool, cool, cool. So that means now you can be hitting more bludgers more frequently. You can target the quaffle. Ooh. So if you intercept the right pass there, you can be knocking that ball. Or if they're going for a shot on the, on the rings, that's quite good. Yeah, but to me, you see, to me, this one's very important. Teamwork, bludger intercept range. Okay, that is... So essentially now, by doing this, you're going to be, like, protecting your team within a 30 meter more radius than normal. That's, yeah, I think that's quite essential. <laughs> okay, behind the booms, that's fine. That's the same as the chaser, that makes sense. I like it. So three more damage. Woo! Okay, bludger handling and teamwork has got to be up there. They've got so many perks. Eliminating an enemy slows down other enemies in a 50 meter radius by 25%. That's very interesting. Right, okay, so essentially you're going to take out a player and then a 50 meter radius around that player. They're going to be slowed down by 25% for three seconds. Whew, that is good. Yeah, they, these two are doing it for me. <laughs> right. Tackling an enemy deals one additional. So now, are these accumulative? Oh, hitting and tackling. Right, right, right. Sorry. Never mind. Ignore me. Ignore me. So, yeah, that's fine. So, you're just going to be tackling. You're going to get that extra da damage every time. That's perfect. Tackling a bludger deflects it in the direction you're facing. Okay, that's quite good. So, you can hit it back. Or if you're in the right position, you could be hitting it into another player, so that makes sense, that's quite cool. Second Quaffle Carry Corps is the Quaffle to be launched towards your nearest ally, Chaser. Very interesting, very, very interesting. But I feel like we can handle without that. I think it's great, but I think you can handle without that. And that's good. Again, oh, I think you've got to go Bludger. Definitely. Some of these. Oh, but teamwork. Oh, definitely between these two. Probably going one, 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 and then working on tackling once these guys are fully boosted. That's my opinion anyway. That's what I'm thinking. But there you go. That's the beta. And then lastly, but not least, the seeker. Everyone's favorite position because it's what Harry played. Right. Seeking. Very important. <laughs> Snitch meter fill rate increased by 2%. And then obviously you're going to be increasing this by 6% by the end. I don't think, I think that could be better. I'm not gonna lie, but I can understand why they've probably not done that so well. Because, you know, you're just gonna be like plowing through and <laughs> getting that snitch very quickly. Snitch, sorry, didn't mean to push it. Apologies. Snitch ring buff duration increased by three seconds. Okay, so now you've got an extra three seconds every single time you go through a ring. Oh no, the rings last for, more, for three seconds longer. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Wow, I mean, that's what you want. You definitely want that boost. 100% as well, that's such a jump. You're getting 70% more boost energy. Let's just bring this at 5 percent five. Yeah, you've, got to just, you've just got to fill out the seeker, you know, the seeking skills, because those are just insane. Snitch meter distance, gain maximum snitch meter fill rate. Okay, cool, so you're supposed to get 15 meters. Fair enough. I don't think I can fully get my head around that one, but that's fine. 
That's cool. I do like that. But again, I don't feel like this defense... Mm, I don't know. Okay. That's interesting. So now you're, you, a seeker can suddenly inherit the ability of a beater if a blood is coming at them. That's quite interesting. That's quite good. Now that is important. Thick skin's very important. But like, I just don't like the fact you've got to get through all of these to get there. Do you know what I mean? Okay, disruption. Bumping an enemy seeker. Now this I like. I'm, I'm a bit, I'm for this. Being able to bump that seeker and give them damage as a seeker. And then if you've got your beater hitting in, yeah, I think disruption is quite good. Bumps home. Okay, fair enough. So I'm assuming that just gives you a bit more accuracy. Bumping the enemy seeker now steals up to 10%. Uh, steals? So does that mean now you inherit that extra 10%? I need to figure out, I've not actually bumped yet, and I want to... That sounds so wrong. <laughs> I've not actually done any bumping yet, so... <laughs> I can't take that seriously. I haven't done that yet. And I need to. I need to give that a go. So, yeah. But that's interesting. Now, if you're... Yeah. I can get why it's called disruption, because obviously you're disrupting the other Seeker. But it's quite cool that the Seeker can now be affecting the, the game, it feels. It's quite nice. Flying through a snitch ring makes it disappear after one second. So now your right, your other player can't be getting it. Yeah, I think you've got to go with seeking and disruption, and then work on your defense slower. It's so probably every two of these, one of these, to me. Anyway, yeah, that's my thinking. Well, I mean, there you go, guys. There was my quick and very brief game plan. Um, that's how I'm probably going to be going with my skills. Uh, skill points going forward um, I probably will change my mind you know and I feel like I, I can <laughs> um, yeah I just some of those are very useful very very useful you can see why like you can see how like playing more throughout the game essentially makes you better and makes your players better which I think is a really cool little asset and little perk um, yeah but please leave a comment what you think your you know what you think the best skills are what your battle plan is and what your battle strategy is i'd love to know and yeah let me know if you're enjoying the game too and don't forget to let me know what house you're in i want to know i want to know these things there's so many questions that i need answers to but thank you guys so much for watching and yeah i'll see you in the next one